a safe, peaceful, and enterprising and prosperous region. After groundbreaking of the second phase of the Jerry Ball Road, the NEDC say the 27.1 kilometer road will ensure easy access to farming communities by farmers in the state. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri. We're staying in the north, but this time we're talking health. The Kebbi State government has launched a comprehensive nutrition program. This is aimed at reducing malnutrition in the state. Awa Mohammed reports. Malnutrition has long been a serious health issue in Kebbi State, affecting thousands of children and adults alike. To tackle these challenges, the government and the partner organizations are now joining forces to combat this scourge and ensure a healthier future for the people of Kebbi State. <laughs> A major intervention in response to this crisis is the introduction of fortified rice and school feeding programs, supported by the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, in collaboration with the World Food Program. Part of the intervention include food demonstration and awareness creation on the use of fortified rice for school feeding programs in Kepi State. The rice fortification program was approved by the federal government of Nigeria. Um, we had the approval to include rice as one of the food vehicles that uh, will be fortified or to be fortified in Nigeria uh, to help us reduce the rising cases of uh, malnutrition in Nigeria. And what we are looking to achieve is to ensure that our adolescent girls and boys are enriched with the essential vitamins and minerals that they need to grow and become active in schools, basically. We chose Kirby State because Kirby State is one of the largest producers of rice in the country. And um, we have so much passion in what improving the nutritional status of the children in Kirby State. According to the World Health Organization, fortification of rice with iron, vitamin A and folic acid is a public health strategy to improve the nutritional status of populations. Mrs. Nabila Mohammed, a food expert who was present at the occasion, stated that the food demonstration modality adopted will go a long way in creating awareness and achieving sustainable development in the fight against malnutrition in Kepi State. In statistics, Kepi State, we have like the highest number of children with malnutrition. So with this fortified rice and this project coming together with gain collaboration with World Food Organization, World Food Program, it will be a great help and an achievement in this state. For example, in Brinike, the local government school bought 30 bags of fortified rice. In Argungu, a school bought 10 bags of fortified rice for their school feeding program. So it's making impact. How Mohammed, TVC News, Brinike. And to commemorate this year's World Sickle Cell Day, policymakers have been urged to provide warriors with access to free healthcare services. The Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, 